This shopper, busy looking for a car park, may not realise it, but they're driving under solar panels, powering the Garden City Mall on the outskirts of Nairobi. Covering more than 450 car spaces and spread across 6,000 square metres, the 858 kilowatt system is now helping power the mall's cash registers, lights and escalators, and decreasing its reliance on grid electricity. The private initiative has seen the mall team up with funding facilitators Solar Africa and project designers Solar Century. Um, and we started speaking to the clients about you know, maximising the use, the, the use of the roof space, which was just going to be carports. And obviously with the solar carport, you're providing weather protection for vehicles, as well as providing solar electricity, which can be pumped straight into the, the shopping mall here. We have been able to create synergy between a car park and power generation. Very innovative idea. Kenya has long been touted as a huge solar energy growth market with its ideal climate as well as the need to provide power to the millions of residents still not connected to the grid. However, uptake has been slower than many within the industry had predicted. Traditionally, solar in Kenya was viewed as small scale, quite expensive, poorly maintained um, and battery system, you know, none of which we're producing now. You know, we don't have any battery storage. What is produced is fed directly into the shopping mall. And so I think it's changing the mindset which was previously here. Securing the necessary financing has also proved challenging. I think uh, primarily it's, it's, a, it's the solution that we're trying to solve and that's, and that's financing. So, so these, these systems like this, about 90% of the life cycle costs are in the purchase price. So there's a huge upfront price that, that businesses have to get, get past in terms of committing to a solar project. And, and without the kind of financing plans that, that we, we potentially would like to offer to, to commercial and industrial power users, it's very hard for them to, to, to actually commit to a solar project. Solar Africa has created a $25 million fund to establish more solar power carports across East Africa. And the Kenyan government has a renewed focus on solar power, embarking on billions of dollars worth of private-public partnerships. We want to transform this country by enhancing access of all Kenyans to electricity from the current about 40 percent to about 70 to 80 percent in the next two to three years. There's more than 3,300 individual solar power panels behind me here, producing around 1,450 megawatts an hour of electricity annually. To put that in perspective, that's enough to power 550 Nairobi homes for a year. The mall expects the project will cut carbon emissions by around 19,000 tonnes over the next 25 years. And by that time, this solar carport may not be such a novel idea, but one of many such projects helping East Africa meet its growing energy needs. Andrew Thompson, Nairobi, Kenya.